Breakfast with Cobb Colvin. Trickstar Radio. 25 minutes past eight here on Trickstar Radio. We are live inside the building. A uh, man like MJB is here. How are you doing this morning, sir? Still tired. <laughs> but I've woken up, but I'm still, yeah. Still right. tired. Uh, we'll, we'll get over it. We'll get over it again. Are you a tea, co- or tea or coffee sort of person? Tea. You're a tea I, person. Coffee's the worst. Yeah. I, I, I agree with that. Um, so obviously we've been discussing kind of your route into club photography and being um, becoming essentially full time in uh, a difficult, um, quite competitive industry. I would presume. Yeah. Uh, from 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 the outside. Um, where have where, like how many places have you worked like around the country? Where how many cities have you been to to do photography? Um, uh, well, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I mean, last year I went to. Well, no, it was this year. It just yeah, this year I did Bristol, Liverpool, and Manchester with Hybrid Minds. Um, done a few shows in London. Been to Paris twice yeah. with the same band at the same venue, which was interesting. Yeah, very interesting. But uh, so, yeah. so this is this is what I mean. It is it is almost becoming a bit of a thing where you are bit traveling around. You're traveling around the country essentially. Yeah. Yeah, I like traveling. Um, yeah, I was going to say, how how do you find like traveling for work? Uh, it's good if you've got something to do on the train, which I almost always do. Uh, I really don't like trains that much, you know, because they're just expensive. And yeah, I see. I, I prefer I prefer trains to being in a car. Oh yeah, definitely. But yeah. like, I mean, realistically, I just rather like fly to anywhere, yeah. so. <laughs> fly everywhere. Yeah. Um, so um, let's let's just give you a quick. Uh, Quick, like back and forth here. So, bands or DJs? Which one do you prefer to shoot? Oh, come on! In, um, in regards to in regards to photography here, not video. Uh, mm, bands. Bands. Uh, why so? Because there's more uh, DJs. As as I mean, there are loads of different sorts of DJs, but they're basically all doing a really they're just standing behind the decks even if they're really animated they're still doing the, whereas you bands you can't really capture animation in the picture yeah, I whereas I'd bands imagine. they're like they're, there's loads yeah, they all look different and there's yeah. loads of them and they're all holding colourful instruments and in different outfits and yeah so, that, so there's almost like more to work yeah, with it's, to it's a lot harder work shooting bands but it's a lot more rewarding you, you, you see better so, results I mean yeah. I, now we're gonna we're gonna kind of look at this like you've been obviously do it, been involved in club photography for a number of years now yeah. that we're looking at um, so something that's always kind of fascinated me is how many like stuff that gets caught in the back of pictures ah. um, now I, I, I obviously we're in a fair few group chats together so I do yeah. occasionally <laughs> see like one get sent through um, especially when it's like a friend of ours who's like yeah. ha there we sit there um, but like o- over the years like what have been the funniest things you've seen like seen captured in the back of pictures um just people the f- weird facial expressions that people might have when they hear something like yeah. uh, like a, some people's base face that's always funny uh, <laughs> people who are under the influence of some sort of substance and you're just like whoa okay that person's not okay how did they get in for, yeah. <laughs> i remember there being there was a picture we saw and there was this, this really sad girl I remember, we, and she was called Sad Girl for a while. I think, I think that's what it was. Uh, do you not remember I, this? I can't remember. I remember Happy Girl. Yeah, no, Happy Girl. It was, it <laughs> was Happy Girl. Yeah, it was Happy yeah. Girl. Yeah, this, it, that just, was a video. That was yeah. a video I did at Volks, and this girl was just so happy. I was like, I've literally never seen someone this happy. <laughs> like, this is this is insane. Yeah, I know. I, I remember looking at it. Yeah. We just went through it's, the video. Yeah. It just, the video just kept yeah. popping up. It's, it's like, like it's, ha- it's Happy Girl. It's Happy Girl. It's been really happy. Um, so um, I mean, it must be it must, obviously when you're going through the editing process, which I imagine to be quite like a long process doing edit- uh, editing I've, well I've got it down to yeah, there is a process yeah. now where I can sort of just follow a formula and, and I've got my presets and stuff but it's still a bit long like people just think oh take the photo and it's done it's yeah like, there no. are there are a lot of people that do seem to think yeah. I've noticed this that well, they'll do a photo you'll do a photo shoot and they'll expect like it there like within an hour yeah and it's like whoa I mean I could probably do that if I tried but you know you need to take it easy yeah, yeah. you need to pay me a bit more yeah, money exactly. to <laughs> um, so who are, the, who are some of the biggest names you've shot for, shot for like um, um, in Brighton and around the UK? Um, well, the biggest probably Idris Elba. Yeah. I think that was that he was the first person that's properly starstruck me because like I was taking photos of him at a venue and um, I went backstage to meet him and he was busy, so I just waited and then he came over and introduced himself to me and I was just like, "What? Uh, <laughs> Idris Elba? Man, what's, like what's, Idris? What's, what's he like?" He's really nice. Yeah, yeah. he's just a, yeah, he's just he's a normal person. Yeah, yeah. He stri- um, this is the thing. Yeah. He stri- the thing with Idris, and I've said this on air a fair few times. Um, he strikes me um, as someone who understands when he's like almost like a guest in a profession. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like he understands that he's not like. And it, like a super established DJ because of like putting in the work necessarily as a DJ for yeah. this period of time he understands that he's in like a he's in like a not a lucky position because he's worked to get where he is but he's yeah. in like a, a position where a lot of people would, would kill to be there yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? he's, he's quite humble which is good um, yeah. and obviously this we're talking about one of the biggest actors in the world yeah. I mean, he's, have you seen his um, his hot ones 
Uh, I have not. No. Uh, have you not seen the meat, the, the gif of it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's yeah. I'm that's... Where he's, I'm he's, he's, the he's, thing is, I haven't seen the episode. I've just, oh, I've just seen the, the meme. Yeah. You, you've got to see the episode, man. It's hilarious. It's genuinely hilarious. It was one of the ones where I'm watching it like, <laughs> <laughs> like just giggling away the entire way through. Um, so. What, what festivals have you kind of been to, though, um, to in regards to working the first one I did was Shakedown Festival um, which is obviously not a thing anymore I think it's been replaced by Boundary um, yeah done Boundary a couple of times done Street Fest I don't know if that exists anymore I've done SW4 a couple of times um, Isle of Wight Festival yeah, yeah, a few. So there's a, there's a fair few. Again, this is the thing. There's a fair few under the belt. And um, how, how to, uh, like how, how does it feel going in via like a press entrance to a festival? It's, it's, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, I don't like large groups of people. So for me, it's like oh, it's not so. Quiet, so but... I, 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 realistically, a festival is probably not the best place. Yeah, to be. yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I always tell people, yeah, I don't really like large groups of people or loud noises. So why do you work in a nightclub <laughs> to make money? Come on. <laughs> Let's be honest yeah. here. I can't take pictures of trees. And yeah. it's so I mean, I can, but it's not as easy as... It's not as profitable. <laughs> yeah, not as easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe I'll not. go to the Arden and take photos of trees and then, yeah. Yeah, we'll go from there. Um, so, um, recently, like a big one, you've been in, you, 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 a big show that we've seen you uh, shoot for was obviously mm-hmm. a show for P-Money. Yes. Um, do, you want, do you want to talk me through this one? Like, who was on the lineup? How did it come together? That came together. I was at the pub with Josh the night before and then I got a message like, oh yeah, someone needs you to shoot a show. And I was like, okay, when? Tomorrow night. Oh, okay. And then it turns out it was P Money, and I was just like, "What? I've been listening to P Money since I was like 12. And yeah. then, uh, yeah, and then, so yeah, next day went down there. Met wait, wait, him. Where was where was it? O2 Islington, wow. and uh, yeah, which is was, a pretty like, yeah. monumental venue. Yeah, it was it was really good. Like I, I, it was insane. Like it was the best show I've ever shot. And then he brought out JME, Dizzy Rascal, DWE gigs and i was just like this is so good like that that was the best shot i've ever shot how was it how was the backstage uh yeah we had two three crates of brandy in our dressing room and p money doesn't even drink as well so like we wow. just yeah so we, yeah we just we all went to town on that and i embarrassed myself on the way home a bit uh, it's got a bit messy i think i think yeah. a few of us have seen the Instagram yeah, yeah, stories yeah, and so, stuff, yeah. So, yeah thank you for documenting that delilah <laughs> Um, so uh, we're going to jump into um, a track from Idris Elba next. How cool! This is what I mean about Idris Elba. Yeah, yeah. The, the He's guy is, This is the guy is like a, a, a becoming an acclaimed DJ. He is one of the biggest actors in the world. He's starred in some of the biggest films ever. He's uh, he's in my favorite um, like cop series ever in Luther. Yeah. Um, he's he just seems to be doing so many things all the time, and he's still and he's putting out bangers as well. Obviously, he put together the Yardie mixtape for um, the yeah. Yardie the film, um, and this is his most recent track, which has come since. And it's called On Life. It's like a deep house roller. Have you heard this tune? I probably have, but I didn't know what it was called. What so, it was at the yeah. time. Okay, cool. So we're going to jump into this one. Uh, we're with Miles for the time being. We're going to talk a bit about football. Um, obviously, oh, you are an Arsenal fan. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's going to be enjoyable. We, we, I like to talk <laughs> football on this show. Um, 33 minutes past eight here on Trickstar Radio. Six triple four six is the number at Trickstar BTN at Cub KXVU. What's the at, sir? Uh, well, I've got so many because I didn't brand myself properly at the time. But my Insta's Miles J Burrell. Just, just, just follow that. We'll yeah. go from that then. This one, Idris Elba on life. Do not go anywhere. We're live on The Breakfast Show on Trickstar Radio. Waking up Brighton. Breakfast with Cobb Colvin.